Hello, Broken Arrow. I'm City Manager Michael Spurgeon. I would like to take a few minutes with this video to talk about the upcoming special election on February 14th in connection with the PSO Franchise Agreement. Let me begin by mentioning how important electrical infrastructure has become in our daily lives. I believe it ranks right up there with the community's responsibility to provide a quality road system, safe drinking water, effective sanitary sewer disposal, and stormwater management. A clearly defined working relationship between the city and the utility provider to produce a reliable product, in this case electricity, offer affordable services, and a consistent response to meet customer needs is vital for our community. And that is exactly what we have with the current agreement with PSO. The last time Broken Air residents voted and approved a franchise agreement for PSO was 25 years ago. The current agreement with PSO expires in May. Let me point out that a franchise is an agreement between a utility provider and the city that gives the company permission to access our public rights of ways to provide service, maintain that service, and make repairs to its utility infrastructure. The franchise is bound by law as city ordinance. The current agreement with PSO includes a 2% franchise fee. The City of Broken Air assesses this fee on all utility companies that operate within the community. With respect to PSO, this 2% franchise fee generated, based on usage, approximately $2.4 million in 2022. The renewal agreement proposes to continue this important franchise fee. The funds generated from the 2% are part of the total revenue used to help pay for city service such as public safety, police, fire, and medical, as well as parks and recreation, community development, and the other general services in the day-to-day -day operations of the city. Now, let's move on to the upcoming ballot proposition. What is proposed is a new 25-year agreement. In addition to the 2% franchise fee, the city has negotiated with PSO to collect a new 1% fee that will be used for economic development activities. As we all know, Broken Arrow is a fast-growing city that is one of the best places to live in the state of Oklahoma and the region. Having the funds necessary to meet the demands of residents in order to maintain a high quality of life is really important. This economic development fee would equate to approximately $1.25 per month on the average residential customer, or about $15 per year. The proposed economic development fee is expected to generate about a million dollars a year. I have been asked the question how the money would be used. Let me share that with you. Half of the funds will go towards the cost of helping with projects related to relocating utilities in the right of way that are approved by the city council. This could include the relocation of utility lines for road widening improvement projects or at existing intersections within the city. The other half of the money generated will go into a newly created economic development fund that will be used to help with retaining existing jobs within our city and recruiting new companies to help our local economy. Some examples of eligible activities for this half of the fund would include job creation for existing companies within the city, attract new industries to Broken Arrow, and the building of public infrastructure to support an existing or new business in our community. Please keep in mind a separate ordinance designating the eligible activities for the 1% economic development fee will be written and presented to the City Council for approval during a meeting that is open to the public. When it comes time to use the monies, City Council will review and approve or reject the allocations during the meeting that is open to the public. There will always be full transparency on the use of the funds. Okay. So now you may be asking, what has PSO agreed to? Well, the City Council approved a memorandum of understanding last November that details what the company is bringing to the table. Here are a few of the details of the MOU. A plan to relocate and in some instances bury power lines in areas around Broken Arrow. System redundancy upgrades so customers should experience fewer outages once the upgrades are complete. PSO will have dedicated representatives to address concerns brought to them by BA residents. We'll meet annually with PSO to review electrical usage at city facilities and try to identify cost savings and energy efficiency options for the system. If you're looking for more information about the franchise agreement, I encourage you to go to poweringba.com to learn more. This special website is a very helpful resource. So what are your plans for February 14th? It's not only Valentine's Day, it's also Election Day. Polls will be open in the community between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. Thanks for watching everyone. Until next time, I look forward to seeing you around Broken Arrow, the city where opportunity lives.